if we go back to August 2015, you had an eight-month relationship which broke up, and you were you were finding it hard to meet somebody, weren't you? Yes, exactly. Because I mean, I've, I was working um, long hours, and obviously, I didn't have the chance to yeah. not socialize, but to find time for myself to meet someone. So, so you went online. I went online, and you found a good uh, online um, dating place and, and this was all the people were verified you had to pay to be part of it so you thought right this seems quite a safe place yeah it seems to be secure and um, you know you, you did they do like a verification as well of your pictures, so I was 100% sure that I was talking to the person I was talking yeah. to. Well, then you, uh, you're you matched with Ronnie. Exactly. And you see Ronnie's picture and think, wow, OK, this is good. Ronnie yes. sees your picture, thinks, wow, she's lovely. Uh, this could be a very nice match indeed. So then you started chatting. What did you talk about? How did that Everything. relationship start? Everything. Uh, we were talking about work, family, um, yeah, what we were doing on the... The, the routine, really. You had a lot in common. I mean, it really was. You know, over a period of time, you thought, I've clicked with this guy. Yes, uh, I mean, yeah, yes. We... He would send you more photos, and, of course, with this chatting and interaction, the feelings developed, and actually both of you told each other that you'd fallen in love with one another. Yes, yes, we did. So this is a real relationship for you. Um, the problem is you hadn't met up with him. No. You also hadn't seen him on Skype or FaceTime or anything like that. Your family were a little bit concerned, weren't they? Because they were asking you, well, well, why haven't you seen him in person? Yes, they, they were asking me. They, they were, you know, I had boyfriends in the past and most of them, they met my family. Mm. And um, they were like, but are you sure? How is it possible? He's always busy. No, there's enough time for yourself. And the relationship didn't really start. So how is it going to be then in the future? Mm. So then, yes, I started to ask myself question, obviously, um, and to put all the details together. Mm. What, what excuses did he make that, uh, that, that he, uh, he, he couldn't... He could he couldn't FaceTime, he couldn't Skype. He was just very busy, busy with work. Work, he was travelling a lot as well, so no chance. So you decided, actually, you were going to find the answer to this, because just to kind of... Not that you doubted him in any way, but more for your family's benefit. So you've, had the, you've started your investigation, you found this very clever app that if you take one of the photos that somebody's using online, you can trace back to where that photo was originally exactly. used. So. What did you so, find? So, yeah, I found everything, everything. Um, from the TripAdvisor website, then lead me to something else, and then, um, as I said, I put all the details together, um, and I started to, yes, build my investigation, because it was, and, um, yeah, to have answers. So, so, so the answers that you got uh, were that Ronnie, who had refused to... Uh, show you his face in any live way was in fact not, not Ronnie, Ronnie at all. Not Ronnie the at pictures all. that he was using um, for Ronnie were in fact Adem. Uh, <laughs> sitting by the side of you. Um, yeah. And uh, so here, here comes the here comes the twist. <laughs> <I know. laughs> so you think, oh my God, I've been terribly betrayed here. He is using, and you're in Turkey, and yeah. you've applied to the <clears> modelling <throat> agency, and you've got masses of, uh, of photos. He's taken all of those pictures, and those are the ones that he's using. Obviously, you are completely unaware that your picture has been used in the UK on uh, for, by by this guy. Well, I was shocked when I heard because you know. We had some this kind of situation back in Turkey, but my agent shut down those fake accounts. Yeah. But when I heard UK, I was like, oh, this has gone too far. Yeah. You know? So you, con you contacted Adem and I said, did. do you have any idea? And then you, and you guys started Yeah, chatting. we started to talk. Um, so I sent him a messenger uh, where I explained the situation and he got back to me after a few days. Uh, yeah, mm. when I've seen the answer, I was okay. Uh, don't go too quickly because I was still not sure Adam was a dem. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You don't want to be caught out twice. Exactly. No, exactly. And, and I then... said, let's do video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's do video. So you videoed, and of course it is him, which must have been such a relief for you. Yes, it was. Um, it was one of the best moments. I can still um, think about it and having all the emotion I had at the time because. Yeah. 
to see him um, on the screen. It was like, you're real, you but, exist. What's extraordinary, I mean, so that, that in itself is right, OK, I found the guy. By the way, do you know your pictures are being uh, fake used in the UK? I've been catfished, you know, that's oh, on. You, you could have said, I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, but thank you very much indeed for telling me. <laughs> that's what I said. But, but then, that's, then... Did, that's not where it ended. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Well, then, you, then you both fell for each other. Yes, I mean, we talk for a few months, um, basically before he comes. And um, I was telling my twin sister that I had a feeling I was actually doing the same thing again, like starting to talk like online mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. And no, it was completely different. And since then, and since that moment, you've come over here, you've been living together for, yes. for, for the last nine months. So what, what are your hopes for the future then with this relationship? Well, uh, we don't really make plans for the moment. Um, the future project we have is we go to Istanbul okay. soon on holidays. Um, we will see um, what life has in store for us. But I think if we met, there is a good possibility that we basically stay together. <laughs> and when she called me, I was sick, you know, I had really bad cold oh. and I didn't want to answer her call actually, but something happened to mm -hmm. me, you know, that was like some other person in me. Well, you said, definitely meant you got to answer this call, okay. you know. <laughs> that was. You were meant to be together, that's for yeah. sure. It's and a strange then, way to get there.